G'day, Ben here. In this video, we're going to show you how you can quickly and easily use Groove to view and control your Modbus TCP device from your mobile device or PC web browser. Groove is a zero programming web-based way to build and view scalable operator interfaces to monitor and control systems and equipment from any modern mobile device. Groove comes pre-installed on an industrial hardened appliance that has no moving parts or a software only version that can be installed on a Windows based computer. But either way, the development environment and the projects created all run within a modern web browser. For your mobile device, you can use the built-in browser or better still, use the free Groove View app for either Android or iOS. Groove comes with various system communication drivers built in, including OPC UA, Opto22 Snappack, and Modbus TCP. Now with Modbus, Groove is a TCP master and can communicate natively with Modbus TCP slave devices like level sensors, variable speed drives, power meters, or industrial controllers. Because Groove talks directly to the Modbus TCP slave device over standard Ethernet networks, there's no intermediary servers or protocol converters required. And this is greatly going to simplify your hardware planning, network layout, and it makes device setup and configuration really straightforward. So here's how to view and control your Modbus TCP slave device using Groove. I've already got an application that shows the mains voltage from the PQ power meter. So now let's add a digital output from the Groove on the Advantech to switch the studio lights on and off. First, here in Groove Build, we select the type of device we're going to connect to. In this case, it's directly to the Modbus device. Next, give it a name, its IP address, and its Modbus slave ID. Now we can configure the tag. Let's give it a name and select the data type. Since it's a digital point, we'll use Boolean. Use the tag address builder to construct the coil address. Hit save and we're ready to connect the tag to our gadgets. Let's add a button to control the lights. We'll drag it over here and also set it up in our handheld view. While we're here, Let's also add the state to the trend. Ah, oh, there we go, it's too easy. Now, let's save our project and view my new page in my web browser. Now, I wanna see my changes on my mobile device, so I'll open GrooveView for Android on my smartphone and check out my updated page. Let's test out our light switch. Ha, <laughs> there we go. Groove is writing directly to the Modbus coil register of the Advantech controller. Oh, this is too much fun. We could do this all day long. Now, in many cases, Groove can be added to an existing system without having to make any changes to that current setup, just like I did with this demo. And this means that it's really simple process to add a mobile interface to existing installations, be they a machine or a remote site. Groove can add mobile device visibility of the process in just a few minutes. You can check out Groove in action on your mobile or PC by visiting httpsdemo.groove.com and log in with a username of Trial and Opto22. You can download a free trial of Groove Server for Windows from groove.com and test drive the full featured version of Groove for two hours at a time. Now there's also a bunch of tutorials and workshop videos on that website, so make sure you check it out. And until next time, cheers, mate.